one of two girls who was going down the agriculture route uh, of studying agricultural science and that seemed quite daunting but when I um, moved to SETU it was a real vote of confidence that there was 12 girls in my course and it's growing every year there's more and more girls becoming uh, into agricultural science every single year which is great. In SETU I love the fact that they promoted women in agriculture because agriculture is male driven in a way but since the last couple of years there has been a flux of women in agriculture which is really impressive and I think SETU have a lot to do with that. One of the main things that um, stands out to me is that I am a young woman in the meat industry which is a very male dominated industry. We do have a lot of women coming in in the last three four years. Things are definitely changing for the positive because I'm on a grad programme at the moment and there's a very equal 50-50 split of male and female graduates. So this obviously means that there are great opportunities for women in the ag food sector. My love for horticulture started off when I was young. My father is a paramedic with a massive garden and I have four sisters. So one of us had to go out and help him, so that was me. <laughs> I put my hand up for that one. So it began there and from there on, came and did my courses at level five, now working in Kildot and I work with such a fantastic group of people that we influence each other every day, working to make education better, how can we improve the college. So from there, they're my main influences from day to day. My biggest influence was probably my mother. Um, she's such a hard worker, she's probably the hardest working person I know. Um, although she's not in science, I just feel anything she does, she does it with such joy and she really inspired me to to go for what I want to do um, and I guess that's why I chose food science. The people who influenced me most would probably be my grandparents um, and my own parents because they were all pretty much entrepreneurs and it didn't ever cross my mind that I couldn't own my own business because all of them had their own businesses before. I grew up on a suckler farm and I spent a lot of time around women in agriculture and um, particularly my grandmother who was a widow and she basically ran the farm by herself and then my mother also, um, she was a woman in agriculture. I wasn't on my father's side at all, so it was all women. An advice that I will give to my 18 year old self is to trust more your intuition, even if that means taking the, the road less travel. Career wise for me that meant choosing to study forestry because it wasn't a degree that was very popular, especially with women. I was the only one in my class. But then looking back, I got to travel around the world, meet a lot of great people, and I'm very fulfilled with my career. The agri, food, and land sciences sector are absolutely fundamental for our future. As the global population continues to explode, I mean, it's growing exponentially, we're going to need to produce um, nutritious food in optimum natural conditions. So we need to scale up the adoption of sustainable farming practices all around the world. We need to protect and restore nature and biodiversity. The food we produce must be nutritious and make a valuable contribution to human health. And we need to critically and very quickly reduce and remove greenhouse gas emissions to combat climate change. So this is a huge global task that we face as a race and in order to achieve it we're going to need very talented and driven people to lead the way. For my PhD I'm part of the Fish Forest Project which is funded by the Department of Agriculture in Ireland. So we are aiming to assess whether the current range of Irish tree species are able to adapt to future climate change such as drought event, rising temperatures, or heat and rising carbon dioxide because they all have an impact on plant growth performance and physiology. So we'll be able to inform future species selection for Irish forest and forestry and influence policy makers in environmental section. I'm excited to see the progression and opportunities for women in land sciences and the part that SETU will play in promoting equality, diversity and inclusion. If you would like to find out more about a career in agriculture, agricultural science, food science, horticulture or forestry, please contact the Southeast Technological University.